You now join the following program already in progress. His brother plays up at Washington State. Make it third down in about seven. Look at that. Well, Iowa now has three ties. No wonder Hayden Fry <laughs> wants a tiebreaker. Look California. Troy Taylor and company have up. Pull off something of an upset. Third down. Each pass. I mean, that baby had some mustard on it. That was a fastball in on the fist. And, uh, John Jackson pulled it in for a first down. Well, it was one baseball player to another. Pete, the all-packed in third baseman this past year, throws it to the outfielder. John Jackson, number one, coming right at you. Pete came into the ball game off of a hot game last week. He completed 22 of 29 versus Cal for 305 yards and three touchdowns. Just outside the Arizona State 42, first down, USC. They lead 7-0. Heat keeps it in the air. Going big. Roman's open. Touchdown, Trojan. Just pure speed by Wellman to outrun Stokes. And it's six for the USC. Well, Wellman is the speed receiver. And Pete getting outside the pocket affords him a little more time to put some moves on the secondary. You're inside the 50. A lot of times the defensive secondary doesn't think deep as much as they do out. That time it was perfect execution. When Rodriguez missed it, somebody got a piece of it. Either that or it was a bad snap. Anyway, the ball was not in position for Rodriguez to put a clean lick on it. Had a rare thing. That's his third miss this year. The forward pass and a big play. And Southern Cal is out to a 13 to nothing lead now. Bad snap, the apparent cause of the missed extra point. Chris Burrow couldn't quite wrestle it down in time for Rodriguez. Now Quinn will kick it off. And Victor Cahoon and David Winsley, 31 and 37, are back. It's going to go out of bounds. shot of that USC has had problems all year long with their long snappers the ball was not snapped very well Spurl did a nice job of getting it up just misses to our right side you know if there's one weakness if you want to call it a weakness of this USC team it's not their offense it's not the defense it's the special teams have really not done anything to help SC win the so uh, Larry Smith, uh, it's kind of been his trademark when he was at Arizona and then coming over to Southern Cal, that's one of the areas he wanted to bring with him and really have a strong special teams unit and he has not got it to where he wants it the last couple of years. There are your deep people, Cahoon's 31, Winston's 37 and they're back it up to kick it off from 30 and the two uh, deep people move up now past the 10. So they should get pretty good field position out of this. Winsley, Cahoon, and it's Cahoon with it. And Victor comes up to about the 25. Looking up into that bright sun, and it does, you better concentrate. Michigan, Ohio State open our day next Saturday at noon Eastern time. Michigan locking up the Rose Bowl trip for the Big Ten today with a win over the Fighting Illini. And immediately following Michigan, Ohio State, number two, USC, number six, UCLA. And the winner of that one will go to the Rose Bowl. In running, Southern California has picked up 80 yards. Arizona State's ground game, only 10. Winsley now is in there at tailback. Justin back to throw on first down. Underneath to McReynolds is tied in. Pick up about eight yards. 
Jim Ryan uh, is a big guy down in the middle where the helmets are cracking and the pads are popping. 6'5", 250. I talked to him yesterday about how the Trojans uh, would play their defensive front today against Arizona State. Uh, last game we started stunting a little bit and twisting a little bit and, and came up with some sacks, but I expect Arizona State to run the ball a little more than people have, people have done to us in the past, the last few games. Uh, I think they, they need to have a balanced attack of running and passing. They'll come out and, and they won't just stop running the ball when they don't have success after four or five, four or five attempts. I think they'll just keep running it for the entire game. Well, this is what he did on this last play, and I think it's an example, Bob Greasy, of how well that down three can play that running game. 99 is Ryan, and uh, six of the eight opponents coming into this ball game have rushed for less than 100 yards against Southern Cal's defense. It is third down and about three. Pressure on, down he goes. That's Dan Owens. Ryan Gibson and Owens. Nobody touches Dan Owens. Right side of the screen, number 90. Southern Cal came in to number two team in sacks defensively, only behind UCLA. They had 10 sacks last week. Owens came in with six. He has two already today. Mike Shrew to punt it. Shrew it. Boy, when he loops it, I mean, he can really airmail it. And Scott Lockwood goes all the way back to his 25 to accept a fair catch. That is a 53-yard punt. And no return. That's downtown Phoenix. Getting browner every year. Yes, they are very interested. They won the Rose Bowl 1987 on John Cooper. And they've been contenders a lot. Jeff Brown is the fullback now for Southern California as Rodney Pete turns and hands the ball off to him. And the 5'10", 210-pound senior from Balboa Island. Oh, what a nice place. Picks up a couple of yards. Brown, just a walk-on, came onto this program without a scholarship. Take a look at the first half possessions. In the first three possessions, two touchdowns, and SC is running a lot of plays every time they get their hands on the ball. Last time, starting from their own nine, going 91 yards for the touchdown. Second down, seven. Pete rolls it out, passes away, pass is caught by John Jackson, and John has the first down. And just short of the 40. Take a look at the philosophy for Southern Cal. What they like to do is get Pete outside the containment. And the reason they, the way they do that is both backs come up and help get him outside. The receiver just going to go down and run the uh, route. But if they want to get Pete outside and give time for somebody to make some plays, look at the two backs in front of him. All right, to the bottom of the picture, you've got Wellman and Affolter. And up the middle goes Ricky Irvin. And he picks up 11 yards and another. Southern California, first down. Running game is working pretty well. As we mentioned, at the top of the show, the thing that Southern Cal wants to do first and foremost is run the football. Metcalf, 47, one of the inside linebackers we spoke about, Knocked over, good blocking by the backs and the offensive line. Trojans now have 94 yards running. Arizona State minus one. Rushing, Pete, a lot of time buying it. Downfield, pass caught, half over, first down. Arizona State, 27-yard line. They're starting to make it look easy now. It's like a clinic. Wow, look at that, 43 points of beat. I'm reminded what Rodney said last week after the game at the uh, Coliseum against Cal. He says, he says it was it was great out there. He says my vision was so clear. He says everything everything went just right. He says I wish I could bottle it, and I know how he felt. I, I had days like that too. You just wish that every day would be as clear and as smooth as that one. Here comes Urban's good little cut there. He's going to get him down to the 20-yard line. He picks up uh, seven yards on the carry by making the cut back inside. Mark Tingstad, the tackle for Arizona State. 
You know who's going to get a pretty good-sized bowl bid this year? It's Army. Jim Young's ball club. A lot of folks interested in Army. And uh, Nebraska and Colorado, a defensive thing, going <laughs> with the Nebraska finally getting seven on the board. Wow. Mike Adam is going to be happy. Northwestern's winning, Mike. <laughs> Second down and three. Feet. Little play action. Shoots it. Good. Caught in traffic inside the 10 by Affolter. Well, it's the Pete Affolter show right now, isn't it? No question about it. Eric Affolter is having a great day. 12 of the 14 times that Pete has thrown the football, he has been outside the pocket. Arizona State not making an effort to contain him, allowing him to get outside. And he's making the most of it. All right, with first and goal at the nine, Aaron Emanuel is back in. Irvins comes out. Let's see if Aaron gets the ball this time. Yep, got it this time. Bounces outside, five, four-yard line. So he hit the stack, bounced outside, and took it for five yards. With UCLA and Notre Dame next on their schedule, Southern California needs Aaron Emanuel. They need Emmanuel. They need Paul Green, the tight end, who is back this week playing some. They'd love to get Stephen Webster back into the ballgame. Also, their other tailback. Washington State jumps out over Oregon State. Holds us back in at fullback now for Southern Cal. Second down and goal from the four. Emmanuel again. And they'll give him the two on that carry. It'll bring up third down. Emmanuel, excuse me, Keith. I was just going to mention that Emmanuel, one of many fine running backs for Southern Cal, was a high school All-American. In fact, was in 1984, was the most sought-after running back in the country. Came to Southern Cal, had a little bit of a problem, was suspended last year, came back. And has been uh, really a fine running back for him before the injury happened earlier this season. They put the second fullback in there, Aaron Gachet. Emmanuel, the deep man. And Pete keeps it. And touchdown, Trojan. Fisher standing right behind him, didn't call it. Got over on this side, called it. But he's in there. One of the added dimensions of Rodney Pete can also run the option down the line. It just makes another man for you to have to defense. Nice effort. If the ball breaks the plane of that stripe, it's a touchdown. And Rodriguez now on with Spurl and Scott Fryer. Let's see if their adventures are continue. Quinn got it clean this time. Knocked it right through the heart. And at 4 minutes and 15 seconds to play in the first half, Southern California's out 20 to nothing. Watch this official coming down the line now because he, he was blocked away from it and couldn't see it. And it was close, but the man over here on this side could see and called it TD. A Big Ten Classic kicks off an explosive doubleheader as Michigan meets Ohio State, followed by the USC-UCLA game next week on ABC's College Football. The numbers on the last scoring drive by Southern California, and the Trojans now start to make it look kind of easy here in this first half. Leading 20 to nothing at 4.15 to go. Rodney Pete, number 16, sitting there on, on the bench. Very much in the story today with two touchdown passes and one running. A high hanging kick to Winsley. And David from Flagstaff is nailed down to the ground at the 20. Tonight on ABC, the true story behind the murder of Jack Ruby, the man who killed Lee Harvey Oswald on an all-new Primes of the Century series, and Jack Warden guest in a new police story movie. That's tonight here on ABC Television. 
Arizona State minus one in its rushing. Well, USC came into the ball game number three in the nation against the run, so they're pretty tough to run against. They start in the shotgun on first down. Oh, Justin from Schomburg, Illinois. Completes it up to the 40 to Leland Adams, who has a, out of West Covina, California, number four. Leland went down in a cloud of dust right on the 40. Adams is playing because the two starting wide receivers at the beginning of the year, Tony Garrett, who we heard from a little earlier, and Chris Garrett, are out with injuries. Fisher, the fullback. Winsley, the tailback. Justin still got it. Throws. No. That's checked. Had a little skip in front. I'm told that Lou Holtz is going to be on with Al Crutwig at halftime. He's not playing there. He's home sharpening his tools for Penn State next week. Yeah, it could be that Notre Dame will be here in this stadium. No question about that. January 2nd. Lou's done an outstanding job turning that program around. Cleveland Coulter shows up in the ball game now. Tracy butts out, Cleveland in. He's playing with a knee, he want to be careful of it, but he also wants to keep it limber and stay battle active. Pass underneath. Good call, good play as Kelvin Fisher. Got quite a few balls this year. Comes underneath for eight yards, and here's Mike Enemy. Keith, you know, between the two schools, Arizona State and Southern California, there are currently 55 players in the National Foot Football League. One of them, Trojan alum, Tim McDonald, now an outstanding safety with the Phoenix Cardinals. Do you expect this score? You said to me you're a little surprised by what the Trojans have done today. Yeah, we've always had a lot of trouble coming down here in the 10P, and, hey, they've got a 20-point lead with still three minutes to go in the half, and that's, that's really surprising. Phoenix Cardinals doing quite well. Big game tomorrow against the New York Giants. Real big game. Uh, we'll talk about how well we're doing after that game. Uh, we need a win. That's going to be a big game for us. Tim, nice to see you. I know Coach Larry Smith and some of your old Trojan buddies are glad to see you as well. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Keith? All right, Michael, how hot is it down there? Uh, not bad at all. It's actually it's one of the nicest days uh, of the year here in Phoenix, according to a lot of the people who've gummed to some of the uh, previous Sun Devil games. Mm. Not a factor, I don't think. Good. Remember last Sunday when the 49ers were in here and got beat. You know, a heck of a ball game. It was 100 down on the field just a week ago. That's no fun. Uh -oh. Third down and seven. And put the ball at the 43. And I think Arizona State, by opening this possession out of the shotgun, have uh, pretty well said to Southern California, all right, guys, you have stopped our running game for the moment. Well, just last week, Arizona State was down 24-7 to starting the fourth quarter and came back and beat Oregon State 30-24. to So they can come back, and they do have that ability. I'm going to be very interested, though, in the next offensive series as we get down late in the first half with a 20 to nothing lead to see who's the quarterback for Southern California. Because I, I it's, uh, got to give that backup, got to give that quarter backup quarterback some snaps. And the backup quarterback's Pat O'Hara, and he's only had about 25. Well, he's had five, as a matter of fact, and, uh, passes, yeah. and and Southern Cal does not lose many seniors off of the squad. In fact, some believe that this USC team will be better next year than this year. They're having a problem with the with the referee's mic. But some yeah. people feel like uh, Southern Cal will be tougher next year. But the only the key man they're losing, obviously, is Rodney Pete, the quarterback. Their prize freshman, Marinovich, waiting in the wing. Foley and O'Hara in front of him. And Justin delivers, and it is incomplete. Adams couldn't hold it. I tell you what, if Leela Adams could reel that one in, and they tucked it away, boy, he had some room. There's good coverage. That's number three. Spurl does a nice job. He's right there with him. It's a hand, and it looks like to knock it out of there. Scott Lockwood is back. Oh, bad kick by Mike Shue. Off the side of the foot, but he gets a good roll on it. And as it rolls along the ground, there's no way for Lockwood to get to it. And the Sun Devils will wind up with a 39-yard punt. No return down at the Southern California 18-yard line.
ABC's College Football is brought to you by Honda, who invites you to test drive the Accord LXI four-door sedan at your local Honda dealership. And by Radio Shack, the technology store. Pete's the quarterback. Scott Lockwood has the ball. And the Trojan tailback's going to pick up close to nine yards on the carry. Oh, they get a little more room to work with. Time rolling right along here toward the end of the first half. USC leading 20 to nothing and 2-14. We'll play in the first half. Back, Leroy Holt, first down, USC at the 30. All right, let's talk, Mr. Greasy. About a 20 to nothing lead, two minutes to go in the first half, and uh, coming up, UCLA and Notre Dame, and your backup quarterback has had 25 snaps on the season and five uh, thrown five passes. He's had five snaps and thrown three passes, and uh, maybe he's thrown a few more, but. Uh, uh, I'm sure what Larry Smith is thinking here is that uh, he doesn't want to turn the momentum around at any point. But I think it's important to get some of your, uh, your, your other quarterback, your backup quarterback, into the ball game in meaningful situations uh, so that if anything happens to your number one quarterback, and I think this should be done early in the year. This is the ninth game of the season. I think it should have been done long before this. And I've, I, in talking with Chuck Stobert, their offensive coordinator, they have wanted to get the backup in there but I think they've been a little cautious in not doing it. But there's no Arizona question. State here squawking because they felt one of the Trojans had moved on the offensive front, and finally the flag dropped. Excuse me. Well, I'll tell you, Stanford's not a gimme. That big, that Jack Elway's got that run and shoot going, and uh, when it's working, it, it's a terrifying thing. Just as Southern Cal has had problems here with Arizona State, UCLA has had problems with Stanford. The Trojans now have six penalty flags and 45 yards. Clock is rolling along now, 1.45 to go in the first half. Ricky Irvins is in there at tailback. Rodney Pete rolls out of the pocket again, gets out there by himself and gets his pass off. And Apple has got it on the sidelines, and Eric is down inside the 40 and thrown down at the Arizona State 37-yard line. Eric Crawford finally brought him down. Half holder is right here. The receiver is going to come down. He's just going to get lost around the sideline. And the fact, again, that Rodney Pete is outside the pocket, outside containment, gives him a lot more time to look around. Excellent throw on the run. Throw it again. Now he's got a bunch of daylight in front of him. Fumbled the ball, slapped loose from behind him. It is picked up by Scott Lockwood. Bounced right to it. And the Trojan tailback, who is actually one of the intended receivers, but Pete couldn't find anybody. And he picks it up at the 20. Saute Sopolu knocked the ball out of Pete's hand. That kind of a play. Now that's... To me, that's an example of how easy it would be for Pete to pull a hamstring or something when he's out there running in the open field. But he's safe. Jim Kelly and the Buffalo Bills are trying to run away with the AFC East. But the Miami Dolphins are out to narrow that lead on ABC's Monday Night Football. USC with two timeouts remaining now on the football. First down at the Arizona State 20. And they lead 20 to nothing. You've got 1-11 to play first half. They're trying to put some more on the board. Now they're in the shotgun. Beach pass. Good to Wellman. Shakes a tackler. Out of bounds. Kills the clock near the five. First and goal, Trojan. Good pass protection. Pete with a quick pass, just a down and out. Five yards and out. Crawford, 39, first of all, gives up the coverage and then doesn't make the tackle. 
And that freely translates into first and goal just short of the five for Southern California. Urban's the tailback. Double wide, top of the picture. Pete rolls it that way. Getting some heat. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson. throwing a lot to his wide receivers. Both of them lined up over here this time. This time, Jackson's going to go into the end zone and just hook to the inside. And he's just going to find some area to throw the football. Outside the pocket, all day to throw. Mobility gives him a little what bit happened? more time. And a nice throw. Mark Tingstad was running just as hard as he could, and he was just one step late getting to it. The kick by Rodriguez is good. 58 seconds to go, first half. The Trojans now 27 to nothing. Well, while UCLA is trailing at halftime to Stanford 14 to 10, the Trojans over here in Tempe got a blowout going. At least they're not, they're not looking forward to next week at all. They may be now when they go in at halftime. But yep. a, a game like this could really set up team uh, offensively and defensively, uh, Southern Cal, for next week. But um, you never know. Well, he's going to be in a position leading 27 nothing at halftime unless something terribly untoward happens to start the second half. He can really go out there and work on his running game in that second half. Well, I think, too, and what we were talking about a little, a little earlier, that the backup quarterback needs to get into the ball game and throw some passes, not just take some snaps, but get in and throw some passes. It's going to be good for him next year when he's got all these young players back. Inside the five at the four, Victor Cahoon. And back to the 20. And stops suddenly. Time remaining now, 52 seconds in the first half. Rodney Pete likes to throw to his wide receivers. <laughs> Wide receivers have caught 12 today for 205 yards. The tight end or the running backs have not caught a pass. What does that tell you? It's great for today, but defenses in the future will try and shut that down. Justin's pass is dropped by Lynn James. The pass was right there. Somebody's got to make a play for, for uh, Arizona State. I mean, they're down not only on the scoreboard, but uh, mentally down, and they need to have somebody come up and step up and, and say, hey, I'm going to make a play and turn something into something positive. Larry Marmee, who succeeded John Cooper here, his team lost three out of four, then came back to win three on three in a row, two of them on the road. Today, they have been stifled by the Southern California defense. Justin, long pass down the middle. Pass intended for Steve Martin and over his head out of bounds. That well, stops your clock at 42 seconds in the first half. You know, Marmee has really done an outstanding job, uh, Keith. This was supposed to be a rebuilding year. Uh, Ten players from last year's team went with pro teams. Seven of them were drafted, two in the first round and two in the second round. So he lost ten players off of that squad. Then he came in, and his two starting wide receivers, his tight end and his fullback, were all injured and out for the year after the first three ball games. Justin getting some heat. Got it away just as Craig Hartsiker took him down five seconds right here. So our stations can identify themselves. Throws bold and one. Trojans are trying to get there. 89. Mike Shoes kick didn't get all of that. And it takes a USC bounce back to midfield. 